What's up everybody, this is Harry and today I'm here to show you the difference in weight between these three samples of air creep that I've made. So <clears throat> these first two samples here have sand mixed into them. So the reason I mixed sand in with the Portland cement was to get a higher compressive strength air creep. So it's not so much about the insulative value as it is about some structural value that the cement and the sand have together. <clears throat> so this first sample here, first off, I want you to take note that all of these pieces are approximately the same size. So we're gonna weigh them up now. Okay, so this first piece here. Comes in about 14 pounds. You can see that there. It's about 14 pounds for this first piece. This next piece. coming in at about 13 pounds. Now this last piece here is just Portland cement mixed with foam. And this here is actually a sample piece from my aircrete, aircrete wall experiment that I did. Look at the difference in weight. <clears throat> this is about five and a half pounds. For this piece here you can see they're close to the same size but there was a huge difference in the weight so now the reason this cement oil you see in the background was all part of my idea for my interior walls of the home so I'm planning on building a dome home and the interior walls are going to be made of aircrete so I'll be using aircrete for two reasons in my build project. The first will be as an insulative layer on top of my structural layer of cement. So I'll have a dome that'll be reinforced with rebar and about two to three inches of cement. On top of that will be about 12 inches of aircrete. This here is about four inches. So it'll be 12 inches. This is my plan to have 12 inches of aircrete on the outside of the dome for insulative value. Now the other, uh, the other thing I'll be doing with aircrete in the home is making the walls. So I'll be making my forms uh, similar to the video I made, the aircrete wall experiment. So I'll be making forms and filling those forms in with aircrete, and that'll be my interior walls so I'll have great insulative for cold and heat as well as sound and to give the walls strength because the aircrete is brittle on its own so you want to reinforce it and my plan was to put a basalt mesh on top and do a thin coat one eighth inch thick perhaps of this rapid set cement oil. This cement is used to patch up regular Portland cement. So if you have regular Portland cement that's got a crack and whatnot, this cement you would use to patch it up because it bonds very well to it, to almost anything, and it cures much harder than regular Portland cement. Regular Portland cement will cure anywhere from 35 to 4,500 PSI. There are some stronger mixes you can get, but then that's adding more additives to it. But on its own, this cement cures to 9,000 PSI, so it's much stronger. So what you want to have for your aircrete wall is a basalt mesh, which is my plan. There's other meshes you can use, but my thing is to use basalt because that's made of lava rock. So I'm keeping it all in the rock family instead of like a glass fiber or any uh, type of plastics and whatnot. So basalt mesh and coat that 
with one eighth inch of this rapid set cement. There's another cement that I was planning on using that's magnesium based cement. And that cement also cures to around 9,000 PSI. So it's really good. So anyway, this is, a, this is my project for my interior dome. The next project I will be doing uh, within the next week or two is my aircrete dome where I'm building a monolithic pour aircrete dome that's um, going to be using the air form. So what I'll be doing is inflating two air forms and the cavity space in between the air forms uh, will be around six inches. So that six inch cavity in between the two air forms, I plan to fill with regular aircrete, just Portland cement, no sand. And once that's complete, I'll be putting a, a, a mesh on the outside and on the inside of the dome covered in a um, magnesium based cement, a very strong cement. So that's, that's my idea for creating a dome of aircrete and yet have the structural strength of the mesh with a cement that cures to 9,000 PSI. So it's really strong. And um, the, the idea of to make any structure with just aircrete and, and not a different type of hard setting cement is, is crazy to me because I know how brittle this Portland cement aircrete is. And it's just way too brittle. I, this piece has been out here for probably about six months now. And you know, I could still break it with my hand if I wanted to. It's, it's very brittle and, and weak, but it makes a great insulator. So anyway, that's the next project coming up soon. I'm real excited. I'll be uh, testing out using a, like a swamp type of pump to move the aircrete instead of buying an expensive uh, cement pump. My idea was, uh, to actually someone suggested it to me on one of my YouTube videos to uh, buy one of these pumps that's used to pump out like swamps and you know just sludge and just thick gooey water like it's a real good pump so I'll be experimenting with uh, one of those pumps that I picked up already on Amazon and that'll be my air creed pump to fill the cavity in between the two air forms so I'm real excited about that. I believe it's going to be the first monolithic pour, aircrete pour dome done uh, yet. So look forward to that coming up soon and some other videos now that the weather has gotten nice out here. Anyway, peace out and I'll catch you guys later.